Because he buried his Aunt May from his world? Yeah, so yeah. Aunt um, May comes out, Peter's nervous back. Um She could tell that that wasn't the she he she tries to he tries to explain, but uh, she's way ahead of him and knows the guess the situation. And turns out those three are not the only spy people that came to see Aunt May. There are three more. Yeah. Uh, spy people, so, well, kind of the, uh, I guess four more if you can, if you count the robot. Yeah, so. So, they all meet up, give their backstory, explain how they got there, blah, blah, blah. And, they, they were there to get a place to make a new flash drive and take the data onto his flash drive. So, they meet up with Peter's shed that turns out a big layer inside. Um... But they meet up, they meet up with each other and uh, tight team up. Miles says he's going to get them home. And, um, everyone's a little skeptical about this, except for Gwen and Peter. <laughs> but then Peter starts to be skeptical about this, because he realizes he can't do any of these cool powers, these fantastical, cool new powers that he can't do, on command. <laughs> like, he can't do anything on command. He can't, like, uh, zap people, with, uh, or, or turn invisible on command. He can't do anything on command. <laughs> and I was can't do it on purpose, so and Peter's like like backing him up of all these cool things he can do and he says I can't do any of that on command. <laughs> uh, so Myos leaves because he feels like he's letting, he's gonna let everyone down and um is letting everyone down by not living up to the Spider Man mantle. So and goes to his uncle Aaron's, who find out is really the, been the prowl the whole time, and the same is is the person the bad guy has been trying to hunt Miles and kill him and get rid of him permanently is the prowler. So Miles bails and leaves his uncle Aaron and goes back to the spike hill. Turns out he was fall when he just when he think he was involved, and. He found out he was wrong once he saw a bunch of bad guys come in and bust in. You know, a female Dr. Octopus, a tombstone, scorpion, a variant of scorpion, I guess. That's a Latino. I think he is because he's speaking a different language. It sounds Spanish to me. I, I could be wrong, though. So they all do get out while Miles... Uh is freaking out and trying to just keep his hand on and trying to do what little he can to do to help. And then the Prowl comes, and who is his uncle Aaron, and tries to kill him, and he runs and uh, takes off his mask just when the Prowl kept, uh, kept up to him running to kill him. Uh, Prowl can't go through because that is his that is his, uh, his uh, that is that is uh Family, uh, family to him, so, um, and so, because, um, because he couldn't go through with killing, uh, Miles, because now he knows he's Spider-Man, and Miles knows he's probably, uh, he can't go through with it, and so, he got shot by the Kingpin in cold blood, and dies while Miles holds his, uh, holds, holds, holds Uncle Garen as he dies and keeps him company. And his father, Miles' father, thinks that he, that doesn't know that's who Spider-Man is, the new one, and think the new one killed uh, the Prowler, who is Uncle Aaron. 
who is the brother of uh, Miles' dad. So, he requests a special uh, 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 um, search for the new Spider-Man. So now he's a wanted future. Um, meets up with Spike Peel in, um, uh, in his, uh, room. After his Aaron's, after Uncle Aaron's dead. And, uh, they all, uh, comfort him and says, you know what it's fit like to save, not save one you love. And pay the price for it. And you're, it being your fault. And they all share who it was who was there on Uncle Aaron first. Um, of one they lost, so. And, uh, um, <laughs> they're all leaving, and, uh, Peter's going to stay behind because he has come to his attention that Miles is not up for this mission, and he's going to get him killed if he tries. So, he's not going to have that, so he actually decided to, um, um, it was actually Peter's idea to bench Miles and, uh, uh, whip him up and leave him as to go home and Peter stays behind. It was actually, it was actually Peter's idea, probably because he doesn't want Miles to get killed and he likes Miles a lot, but also part, the other part of the reason is because he's afraid to go back home and basically, uh, not screw up again with MJ and, uh, worry, it's worried, it's worried that he can't fix things at all and not screw it up again. So, he's also doing this for a selfish reason as well. Um, Miles gets a, uh, pep talk, a hot talk pep talk from his dad, uh, right behind the, right in front of the door where Miles is tied up and, um, Miles is listening to his dad while he's tied up, and, uh, his, uh, his dad sees something special in Miles, and whatever that is that he's good at, he should uh, do it, because, and that's why he's so hot on him, and doesn't always uh, communicate well, so, that actually is actually a good, uh, that actually is a good, uh, that actually somehow helped Miles to, well, Managing to do his powers on commands and basically inspire Miles somehow, and uh, so Miles uh, gets the sh gets gets his shit together, can control his powers of command, and gets it in control. After that thing, and uh, goes to suit up and make his own costume, and on his way. Uh, to meet up with his pals, and his pals again uh, ran into an ambush just when they were going to turn off the collider and uh, um, and get everyone home. They ran into an ambush because they saw them coming, expected them coming, knew they were coming, those kind of things. So it's one of those things. And uh, this one, they all getting their ass handed to them. Uh, Miles actually shows, it makes a really cool entrance. So. Miles reveals to himself that he, he's the invisible force that's kicking Dr. Octavius's ass. And so they're all so proud of him and happy that he that he did it. And Peter, especially Peter, with that, and this is when Peter's uh, mind changes about wanting kids. Suddenly, because he because he actually says that while he says he says, "Do I want kids?" <laughs> after 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 how proud he is of Miles and see how well he did. So uh, he says that a lot. So, um, uh, which leads to a really good a uh, bunch of really good uh uh cool stuff and also stuff like the multiverse collapsing and. Using each other with other multiverses, it looks cool. Um, uh, but a bunch of other crazy shit is happening while they're in the battling in the club. So everyone goes home, says goodbyes, says they love each other, even Peter Parker. But then Peter Parker sees the Kingpin ready to kill Miles, so Peter Parker steps in and doesn't want Miles to die. 
and doesn't want to go home either. So he's going to try to fight off Kingpin while Miles shuts the uh, machine off. That's his plan anyway, but uh, Miles gets the best of Peter and uh, tells him he's got to go home. And he says he won't know if he will screw up or not. And Peter uh, says it says it says the same thing he said to Miles about being Spider Man. It's a leap of faith about when he about no about knowing. So Peter goes home. Miles takes down the Kingpin while the multiverse is collapsing and things going to shed. And his father's watching him uh, fight the Kingpin. And Miles isn't looking so he's he's getting his ass handed off. Uh, um, although he's, he's getting his, he's like losing, and, um, he hears his dad telling him to get up Spider-Man, and he gets up and does the, uh, soul touch on Kingpin and zaps him with his Venom Blast. That he learned from his Uncle Aaron, the soul touch, that how to get a girl, get a girl, so, um, so... And he turns off the machine. And they say Kingpin's all webbed up uh, by Miles for the authorities. And uh, Miles talks to his dad on the phone with his, in his own voice. Um, and says he knows about Uncle Aaron and, um, and has a hot talk conversation with his dad in uh then he hangs up on his dad and goes to uh, tell him in person that he, to, to hug him and to say I love you <laughs> to his dad. So, uh, <laughs> which his dad's all confused because like he doesn't know who, who Spider Man is. So, but uh, Miles <laughs> just does it anyway because he's that. So, uh, so that which was a nice moment. I like that. And um, Miles swings off and gets this hero ending monologue and saying that anyone can wear the mask and he knows that now. Because he's Spider-Man. And this when you sing the movie ends, uh, doesn't you hear Gwen's voice saying uh, to Miles got a minute and it this ends on them. No, we don't know where that uh, is going, I guess. Well, at least the at least till the sequel it came out, you know. Um, but actually, I I don't know where that goes, how that fits in the sequel, because Miles does look older in the sequel. So, yeah. So that was Spider Man to the Spider Verse. I give this ten out of ten. If you like this video, subscribe. But goodbye. I I just gotta catch my breath. Okay.